What's happening everyone, Sam aka FIFA Brit from Gold Boys here today to cover the Sunday Soccer Slate. We had a pretty good Saturday which I'll get into in a minute, but first of all I want to say a special thank you to the sponsor of this video, Sleeper Picks. Don't forget you can use code GOLDBOYS to get a deposit match of up to $500 off. Anyway, pretty good Saturday all things considered, a bunch of bets that I shared publicly hit. And that's what we love to see. Heidenheim versus Bayern, both teams to score over two and a half and a goal scored in both halves. Cash pretty easily. Bayern actually hilariously fumbled this game, going up 2-0 and somehow losing it 3-2. They play Arsenal on Tuesday in the Champions League and you just know they're going to give us the absolute game of their season. But in the league, for now, we can laugh at them. I also shared Arsenal money line and over one and a half as a lean in my video for Saturday's slate and then locked that in officially both in my Discord channel and publicly on my Twitter. If you're not following me at FIFA Brit, you should probably go and do that right now. We cashed that and we also cashed a first half shots play with Saka and Jesus, one first half shot each. That was also shared to Twitter. So like I said, if you're not following me, go and do that right now. You got nothing to lose. Free players, why not? Take them. Profit is there. Anyway, now we're going to talk about the Sunday slate. It's not as big as the Saturday one, which is good because we can go into these games into a little bit more detail. The first game I want to talk about is probably the best one on paper. It's the most important one for the title race, and it's got two fantastic teams playing against each other. Yes, I know I'm calling Man U a fantastic team, but that's simply because when these guys play each other, the games usually end up being absolute bangers. The game is, of course, Man U against Liverpool. Both Arsenal and City won their games this, uh, this weekend in the league, so there is massive pressure on Liverpool to get a result here against a team that just beat them in a thriller 4-3 in the cup. Now, earlier this season, they played to a nil-nil draw where Liverpool somehow got off something like 30 shots, which is ridiculous. And Man U have conceded the most amount of shots in the entire league in 2024. They've let teams put up like 20 or 25 or even 30 shots. They let Brentford get 30 shots against them. They let Chelsea get something like 28. Teams have been absolutely ripping against them because they can't hold possession. And they just kind of bunker down and try to weather out the storm, which is exactly how they played Liverpool in the league earlier this season. And I have a strong feeling that after getting knocked out of the cup, Liverpool are going to come at them fully guns blazing. And so my favourite play of the entire weekend, which I locked in a couple of days ago, and the odds should still be pretty good, is a Liverpool shots and shot on target ladder. Here's exactly how I broke it down. Liverpool to get 25 shots is plus 200. I took that for one unit and then I split another half a unit over the following shots on target legs. 10 shots on target, which is plus 500, I took for 0.2 units. 12 shots on target, which is plus 1700, I took for 0.1 units. 14 shots on target, which is plus 5500, I took for 0.1 units. And finally, 15 shots on target, which is plus 11,000, I took for 0.1 units. Now, for 15 shots on target, because the odds are so high, for bets like this where you can cash out if things look good, I typically recommend splitting the bet in half, so two separate bets of 0.05 units each. That way, if you want to cash one of them out and let the other one ride, you have the option to do, to, to do so to lock in some profit. That's how I approach this 1.5 units on the ladder total. I'd be perfectly happy if they get 25 shots and maybe they get 10 shots on target. That's pretty realistic. That happened actually in the game in the FA Cup. And Liverpool got 30 shots on target. No, they can't. that would be crazy. They got 30 shots against them in the league and I think only eight of them on target, which is a pretty low conversion rate for Liverpool. So if they get up that many shots, fingers crossed, especially with Nunes and Salah back and in good form, hopefully they can get a good amount of those on target as well. So that's my favourite play of the week in a Liverpool shots and shots on target ladder. But we still have some other games to talk about. The next one being Sheffield against Chelsea. Now, Chelsea are not very good. I will die on that hill. That being said, they made Man U look absolutely hilariously bad 
and they somehow choked a 3-2 lead, letting Cole Palmer score two goals in the last minute or so of the game to win 4-3. Cole Palmer is cooking, as much as I hate to say that as a Saka fan. Obviously, I'm an Arsenal fan that's going to go without saying. But he's a promising young player. And what I love about him most of all is that he loves to shoot. He also takes pens, but most of all, he loves to shoot. So I'm also going to lock in Cole Palmer to record two first half shots at plus 100. And I took that for one unit. All of these are on FanDuel. If you can't tell, they're the only book that offers first half shots, at least domestically in the US. So this is all being taken on Fandle. Uh, Cole Palmer's playing really well. Two first half shots is pretty easy for him to get, especially if he's somehow able to win a penalty against Sheffield, which he should. And also Sheffield is just so vulnerable to shots in general. The amount of involvement that Cole Palmer has in this Chelsea offense, he should have plenty of chances to rip the ball. Next thing I want to talk about is Spurs against Nottingham Forest. I'll be honest, I don't really like this game. The odds are not brilliant. Spurs should get the job done at home, but their money line and team total line suck. Forest should also get a goal simply because Spurs can't defend, but both teams to score is also pretty bad. So if Alanga starts for Forest, I might sprinkle a bit on his first half shots. He has been shooting a lot. Uh, he's been shooting a lot recently. I think he's just coming off a three first half shots performance this weekend. And he's something like plus 400 for two and plus 1700 for three on Fandle right now. So if he's starting, I might sprinkle on him or get him involved in a lotto somehow. But the odds on Spurs aren't brilliant. So I will most likely just pass on this game and pray for Spurs' downfall as the Arsenal fan that I am. The last game I want to talk about is over in the MLS, Sporting Kansas City against Portland. Now, both teams to score is minus 145 over on Caesars. This is a pretty off-market price. It's, it's around minus 160 basically everywhere else. But that being said, I'm not going to lock that bet in now simply because these teams are a little bit inconsistent and I want to make sure that the main guys are starting. For Sporting Kansas City, we're looking at guys like Polito, Saloy, Agada, Russell and Tommy. And for Portland, we're looking at guys like Anthony, Evander and Moreno. If all these guys are starting, then both teams to score at minus 145. If that price holds, is pretty good value, especially compared to the rest of the market. If it dips below minus 150 and those guys are in, I'll probably just pass or I might use it in a builder. But if it stays around minus 145, I think that's pretty good value provided those guys are all playing. So yeah, that's the Sunday slate. Those are all the games that I want to talk about. I know there are other games going on, but if I didn't talk about a game, I promise you it is because I don't really think there's much worth discussing. That being said, if you shoot me a message on Twitter, you tag me in anything, I will happily give you my opinion on basically anything. I just love to talk. I love to type on Twitter. I love to chat shit. You guys should know me by now. Again, if you're not following me on Twitter, it is at FIFA Brit. And of course, if you haven't signed up for Gold Boys already, the link will be in the description. Now is a fantastic time to join us. As always, if I lock in a play officially, it will absolutely be in my Gold Boys channel. And I will try to share something on Twitter as well. If you think you have a gambling problem, don't forget to call the number 1-800-GAMBLER. And yeah, that's our recap of the Sunday Soccer Slate. Have a fantastic weekend if you aren't doing so already. And yeah, best of luck, and I'll catch you next time. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Guess what? Friends don't let friends watch videos without smashing the like button. So be a friend and smash the like button and ring the bell. It'll notify you when we go live. Also, if you could, press that subscribe button. More subscribers, the more bets we can get out to all of you guys. And drop your favorite bet in the comments. Take care.